Hi there, I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Everybit Helps. Today I'm going to show you how to use Coinbase Pro. I'm going to show you how to deposit, how to buy, sell and withdraw. And I'll also put a timeline into the summary below so that you can jump to specific parts of the video if you want to learn about a certain section of Coinbase Pro. There'll also be a step-by-step -step guide available on my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for you guys to check out. So this video is an update to a GDAX tutorial I actually created a couple of years ago. It's Coinbase Pro is an evolution of GDAX, but essentially for those of you who are familiar with GDAX, it does have the same functionality and look and feel, but it has been since rebranded as Coinbase Pro. The platform itself offers individuals the ability to trade a variety of digital assets, along with the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin, and you can track the market, trading history and monitor open orders. One of the great things is the fact that you can submit a buy or sell order and simply just wait for the market to reach that price rather than having to take the price that's at the current market value. However, if you are looking to buy or trade more diverse altcoins, I probably recommend the likes of Binance Exchange who do offer a larger variety of coins as opposed to the main ones being sort of Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. However, one of the great benefits of Coinbase Pro is that you can save yourself some money by paying less transaction fees than you normally would with the likes of Coinbase when you're buying and selling your cryptocurrencies. With Coinbase, you pay around 2.99% for credit or debit card payments. However, with Coinbase Pro, you can reduce that down to zero depending on the amount that you are trading with. So there are some great savings by learning how to use it. I've actually done separate tutorials on how to buy and sell with Coinbase and Coinbase Pro and how to save money, but this is a full tutorial and I'll take you through all the different functionality within Coinbase Pro. Now, if you do already have a Coinbase account, you don't have to register for a separate login as you can use all your Coinbase credentials over on Coinbase Pro. And your two-factor authentication settings will all be dictated by the settings in your Coinbase account. So everything's kind of controlled from Coinbase for that. Now, if you don't already have a Coinbase account, they do give you $10 of free Bitcoin when you buy or sell with $100. And I'll pop a link in the summary below if you do want to take advantage of that offer. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start depositing funds into Coinbase Pro to get started. So how do we do that? Well, there's two different ways that you can do that. You can obviously click on to deposit here on the left hand side, or you can go to my wallets and click on to deposit. It'll then ask you for the type of currency you're going to be depositing into Coinbase Pro. Now, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm from the UK, so I'm going to be selecting British pounds. However, you do have the ability to select from the likes of euros, uh, different types of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, etc. Now, just in relation to depositing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take you through the Coinbase Pro fees so that you have an indication of how much fee you will be paying when you are depositing into Coinbase Pro. So you can see from here, we have um, all the different types of deposits that you can make and the fees that are associated to that. So if you are depositing the likes of digital assets or cryptocurrencies, that is absolutely free. If you're doing CEPA transactions for euros, you're paying 15 cents. For me here in the UK, it's absolutely free as you can see. However, if you are wiring with the likes of US dollars, you're paying $10 for just depositing into Coinbase Pro. But let me just take us back. So there are two different ways that you can deposit your funds. So first of all, obviously, because I've selected British pounds here, I have the ability to do a UK transfer. One thing to be aware of here is that it can actually take one to three business days for your funds to process into the account. And they do have a minimum amount of thousand pounds to actually deposit into Coinbase Pro. If you are depositing larger amounts, obviously you can do that using the UK transfer, but please ensure that when you send across your funds, you do enter in this reference number here so that Coinbase Pro know what, what transaction to look out for. If you want to deposit less than a thousand pounds, if you are trading with smaller amounts, you can actually deposit across from your Coinbase account. So from here, it can obviously select our GBP wallet. So it's obviously because I've selected British pounds, it's bringing up my GBP wallet from Coinbase. And you can put in the amount that you'd like to transfer across. So you can click onto max and it will bring everything across into this amount section here. Or you can free type and say you want to transfer 150 pounds, for example. 
Now, one thing to be aware of in terms of transferring from a Coinbase account is the processing time is really fast and it's absolutely free, obviously, um, and it takes about 10 seconds to actually move across. Now, I personally transferred about £1,000 into my Coinbase account a little while ago, and although it does state that it should be um, pretty fast, it actually took about five days, something along those lines. So it can be a little bit frustrating and um, it's obviously not a very quick process sometimes, but sometimes your funds will come across straight away. It may just be the fact that I was kind of transferring a large amount into Coinbase. But once you've got it in Coinbase, you can transfer this into Coinbase Pro very quickly. Once you're happy with the amount that you're transferring across, you can then click on to deposit funds. Okay, and then it then states that my transaction's on its way and it'll arrive in about 10 seconds. So I'm gonna click on to dismiss. And then I'm gonna take us across to our Coinbase Pro trading screen. And the way that I do that is if I go across into the top left-hand corner here, it'll take me across to my trading screen. So I'll take us through what we're seeing on screen at the moment. So first of all, in this very top hand section of the trading screen, you can see the last trade price for Bitcoin. You can also have an idea of the 24 hour price and how that's changed and the 24 hour volume in here. We then have our wallet balance. So previously I did have some funds in here about £7.21 as you can see, but those funds that I've transferred across are now showing in this section here. It would then tell us our amount if we had Bitcoin in here as well, the amount of Bitcoin that we could then trade with. Again, you have that deposit button where we could deposit our funds into here and we have withdraw, which I'll be showing you through shortly. We then have our order form, so whether or not you wanna buy or whether or not you wanna sell. And again, I'm gonna be taking us through all of these steps, the different types of orders, the amount that you're gonna be trading with, and it will show us off fees. We then have our order book. So what we have is this top red section, and this is what people want to sell their Bitcoin at. We then have the green section, and that's what people want to buy it for. So these are all the values, and then you've got the spread in between. We then have our price charts. So in here is we have candles, which show lows and highs in certain time periods, and you can see the latest trades. So we have all our trade history in here, showing those latest trades, and it gives an indication of the buy and sell orders and what time they were actually completed, as well as the trade sizes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna buy some Bitcoin. So the first thing we need to do is select the type of market that we would like to trade within. Now there are loads of different types of markets, whether or not that be Ethereum, Euros, uh, XRP, Litecoin, etc., etc. However, the type of market that I'm gonna be doing is Bitcoin to GBP, because I'm gonna be buying Bitcoin with GBP. I then need to ensure that under the order form, I've clicked on to buy. And then you have three different types of orders that you can place. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain through those different types of orders. So first of all, you have market, so that is at the current market value. You then have limit. Now these different types of orders that you place will depend on the amount of fees that you will be paying when you're buying your Bitcoin or buying your different types of cryptocurrencies. And what I'll do is I'll just show you that now. So as you can see here, it states that when you place an order at the market price, so that's on that market tab, that gets filled immediately. You are considered a taker and will pay a fee of between 0.05% and 0.25%. However, when you place an order which is not immediately matched by an existing order, that order is placed on the order book. If another customer places an order that matches yours, you're considered a maker and will pay a fee of between 0 and 0.15%. So that will be that limit order. So as you can see here in relation to those fees, it does depend on the amount that you are actually trading with, but you have different types of fees that you're paying, whether or not you are a taker or a maker of the market. So a taker of the market would be someone paying the market value, and a maker of the market would be someone that is actually placing and defining their own price within Coinbase Pro. You then have something called a stop limit. So a stop order triggers a market buy or a sell order when the price reaches or dips below a certain price that you will define. Now this can obviously come with some risk as your market order will be entered when the price is below the price that you will define. So if it does dip a lot lower than the price, your market order will be closer to that number. So just be aware when you are placing that stop order, it may not necessarily sell at the price that you are gonna be defining. 
If you do want to place an order at the market value, you can just simply type in the amount that you would like to purchase and it will instantly buy that Bitcoin for you. Or you can click onto max here and it will obviously buy with the maximum amount that's currently in your GBP wallet. It'll then display the fees. So the fees again are very low. So they're at 39p here for us. However, we can make that price even lower by doing a limit order. So with that limit order, by making the market, you are not taking the market and therefore this isn't a market order. This is a limit order where you define the price that you're going to be selling it at. So you do want to make sure that when you do set that price in there, your buy limit is lower than what the current market value is and your sell limit, if you are selling, is higher than the market price. Otherwise, it will be treated as a market order as the limit has already been met. So we're now going to do that limit order. So what we're going to do is put in the amount of Bitcoin that we would like to purchase. Now, if, for example, I want to purchase £100, you can see here that the current conversion rate at the moment is at about 0.013 Bitcoin to £100. So what I'm going to do is enter that into our amount. So I've put in the amount of Bitcoin that I'd like to purchase, and now I'm going to state the price that I would like to pay for this Bitcoin. Okay, and I need to ensure obviously this is less than the current market value. So I'm just gonna take this down ever so slightly down to uh, 7872. And then in here, you can now see that my fee is only 15 pence. So it's a small saving, but it's actually almost half of what we were previously gonna be um, paying. So what I'm gonna do is click on to place by order. And you'll then see that it's now appearing under my open orders. So we now need to just wait for that order to complete. And you can also see it on the order book showing up here. Now, if you are in a hurry and you do wanna buy your Bitcoin a little bit quicker, then what you can do is obviously you can cancel any open orders that you have um, within this section here. You can either cancel all open orders or you can cancel a specific order. Now, obviously the markets do dip and rise quite a lot. So there are some times when you do have to wait quite a few minutes for your orders to complete or it may be the fact that it does take a few days. So my limit order has now been filled. As you can see, it's no longer appearing in my open section and it is in the fills. So it'll show you all of the orders that have been filled. Now, if I just take us over to my orders, which is the top right-hand side here, and go to filled, It'll then show me that order. So it'll give me a summary of my buy order. So it'll tell me the amount that I purchased, how, how much was actually filled in terms of Bitcoin. It'll tell me my filled price, so that's the price that I defined. It tells me my fee in here, so that's 15 pence because I was a maker of the market and I defined my price. Now what I'm gonna do is take you through selling your Bitcoin. So say for example, you have Bitcoin and you want to um, make the most of any profits that you've made and you then wanna withdraw it. What you want, might wanna do is sell your Bitcoin and get some GBP back. So I'm gonna take us back to our trading screen. So to sell your Bitcoin, first of all, you need to ensure that you select the correct market. So again, I'm choosing Bitcoin to GBP because I'm gonna be selling it to GBP. I can then see the amount of Bitcoin that I have available that I'm going to be selling. And then I need to click onto the sell tab. Now in relation to sell, the fees work in exactly the same way as when we're actually buying our Bitcoin. So you want to ensure that you are a maker of the market as opposed to a taker of the market to make advantage and take advantage of those reduced fees. So I'm going to click onto the limit tab. Obviously, if you're in a hurry to sell, you can go with the market order and the, what the current value is, but I'm gonna be doing limit, I'm in no rush at the moment. So you can either click onto max here and sell the maximum amount of Bitcoin that you have, or again, you can put in the converted amount of Bitcoin that you'd like to do, and then you can obviously free type that into this section. I'm gonna be selling the whole amount that I've just purchased. And now I need to put in the price that I wanna sell my Bitcoin at. Now I want to take advantage of what I've just done in terms of I've just bought my Bitcoin and I actually want to sell that for a higher amount. Now I do need to ensure that this is above the latest uh, trade market price. So what I'm going to do is going to put this in at 7876.8. Okay, and again, we can see our fees in here. So again, I'm only going to be paying 15 pence. It tells me the total amount that I'm going to get back. 
So now what I'm gonna do is click onto place sell order. I'm just going to my open section here. I can now see that my place sell order is actually in here now. Again, I can view this in the open order books at the moment under the sell orders. So I just need to wait for that to complete. And again, if the market does change a lot, you can cancel any orders that you have open at any time by either clicking on to cancel or open orders or clicking on the X button beside your open. Okay, my order has now been filled. So if I go over to my fill section, you can see here that that order has now been filled. So if I now go across to my orders and go to filled, you can then see a bit of information again in relation to this filled order. So you can see what the market is that I've sold in, the size, you can see the price that I defined here, and you can see that the fee, obviously, because again, I was the maker of the market, it was just only 15 pence. So once you've now got those funds in Coinbase, now one of the um, security practices state that you shouldn't really keep any funds on an exchange. So what you wanna do is now you wanna withdraw these funds so that you can store them somewhere safe. Obviously now the fact that you do have um, it as GBP, what you now wanna do is probably just transfer that into your bank account or something along those lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take us back to our uh, wallets here. And now if we click on to withdraw, It'll ask us the type of funds that we want to withdraw. So we have sold out to GBP. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be withdrawing out British pounds here. So you can see the total value that I've got in here as well. So British pounds. Okay, we then have the ability to withdraw this to a bank account or we can withdraw this to our Coinbase account. I'm just going to show you those fees again in relation to withdrawing now. So under this section, it says withdrawal. You can see, obviously, if you were withdrawing the likes of Bitcoin, then that is absolutely free. If you're doing, if you're in the US and you're doing a wire transaction, that is 25 US dollars. Over in the UK here, it's five pounds. So it is quite expensive to withdraw. And obviously any kind of profits that I made, I would be actually losing if I was withdrawing it from Coinbase Pro. However, like I said, um, you can use the bank account. However, you can actually withdraw to Coinbase account. Now, when you are withdrawing to a Coinbase account, again, it is fast, again, about 10 seconds, something along those lines, and it's absolutely free. So what I could do is click onto max here, withdraw these funds. So what I can do now is I can withdraw this amount to my Coinbase account, and from my Coinbase account, I can either withdraw to the likes of my UK bank account, and that will cost me one pound, or I can also withdraw to a PayPal and it will cost me absolutely nothing. So there is a little bit of cost saving if you do use both of the different types of platforms in conjunction with each other. So just by using Coinbase Pro and Coinbase account, you can actually save yourself some money, not only buying and selling Bitcoin, but also withdrawing your funds from those different types of platforms. So that was the tutorial and the walkthrough of how you can use Coinbase Pro. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you do, then please give me a like. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews and tutorials, then please head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk where there's also a blog post available. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.